Let's view how easy it is to navigate through the LabSim product and the features we include to assist you. To launch a product, you can click either the product thumbnail or the product title. Now I'm going to click on the list or outline icon simply to point out how the product is set up. As you can see, the product is divided into chapters. Each chapter has various section topics. First off, the Getting Started chapter provides helpful information to get you underway. Let's go into the Word chapter. Within the sections, there are several types of learning activities represented by different icons. The film strip icon represents an instructional video that includes detailed demonstrations. The document icon represents the text and may contain a summary of facts or provide helpful tips. The mouse icon represents a hands-on practice exercise. We refer to these as lab simulations. While you don't need to use this outline feature to navigate, it certainly can be helpful if there is a specific topic you want to review because you can click the topic and go right to that activity. It also shows what activities you have completed. Labs will only get marked with a green check once they are passed. So let's go into the section on formatting paragraphs. At the beginning of each section, there are study questions and an outline of what you will be learning. Use the right arrow to move forward to the next activity, or use the left arrow to go backward. You can also use the bottom navigation as well. Within the videos, the first option is to play the video by itself or with an interactive script. It doesn't matter which option you select initially because you can go to the other option anytime. So I'm going to start by selecting Play Video. Now let's look at the features you have available within the videos. First is the pause play button. Time in the video is listed first, followed by the total video time. Rewind to a previous segment or fast forward to the next segment. You can also do these functions by dragging the slider bar to the video segment's hash marks. The next area identifies the topic you are currently viewing. The CC button is for closed captioning. The 1x identifies the playback speed. The speed can be adjusted to your preference to be either faster or slower than the normal rate. Next is the volume control bar. You can opt to go to the interactive script, which displays the text while showing the video. Within the interactive script, you can quickly move from one point to another by clicking on any block of text. To close the interactive script, click the X. You can always use the full screen option anytime, and of course press Escape to exit full screen view. The next different activity are the text documents. Some of these documents may be fact sheets providing a summary about the topic while other pages may be more helpful tips. The next different activity are the lab simulations. We provide three different types of labs, so let's review these. First is a skills lab. These are the labs that allow you to practice the skills you've just learned. Press Start Lab. Once the simulation environment opens, on the top left, you can see how many tasks total need to be completed. Go ahead and complete the first task as outlined. As soon as the task is completed, immediate feedback is provided. Click Continue to Next Task. Now it is important to note that once you have completed a task and move on to the next task, the document resets to its original view so the changes you are making are not saved. Now, let's say you can't remember what to do for this particular task. There are two additional helps. The Hint button provides a text reminder, while the Show Me button provides a brief video clip of how to do the task. So if I've used either of the help features, 
the feedback window now provides a different message. You'll be required to try the same task again later to see if you can perform it without assistance. You also have the options to reset a task or to skip a task for now. After completing all the tasks, click View Score Report, or at any time, you can click the Done button in the upper right. A lab report will be displayed. Simply click Done after viewing your performance. You are welcome to redo the Skills Lab as often as you like or move on to the next lab. The Challenge Labs are designed to help you achieve a greater skills proficiency. In order to do this, you will now be performing the task in a timed environment. The leaderboard shows how well other students in your school have performed on this particular lab. Click Start Lab. Notice you are asked to familiarize yourself with the document before you click Begin. Once you begin, the timer will automatically start. Notice that there is now only one help option via the hint that's available. However, if you use this feature in a challenge lab, you will not be awarded any points for completing that specific task. And just like with the skills labs, as soon as you have completed a task, you will receive immediate feedback. Of course, click Continue to Next Task and complete all the tasks as outlined. After completing the lab, click View Score Report. A lab report will be generated. Press Done to close the report. Your name will now appear on the leaderboard with your points and time. Of course, you're welcome to redo the challenge lab as often as you like or move on to the next lab. The applied labs are like a final task exam to ensure that you can complete the task without any assistance. Click Start Lab. These labs are timed even though no timer will appear on the screen, but it's more important to complete the task correctly. After completing a task, no window will appear to confirm it was completed, but the changes you make will be saved and you'll simply need to move on to the next task. Once you are completed, press the Done button in the upper right. A lab report will be displayed. Simply click Done. Just like with the other labs, you are welcome to redo the applied labs. Additional options are located within the Actions drop-down list. Now, from your account homepage, you can check your product progress by clicking Reports. Across from the score sheet, press Run. The report auto-generates with detail on the lab exercises. This information gives you an easy way to see how you're doing in the product, and this same information is also available for the instructor. Thank you for watching the LabSim Navigation demonstration. We hope it helps you make the most of your LabSim training.